Hey guys, my name is Kyle. I'm with Max Conversion, and if you're not familiar with us, we are a Google Ads agency uh, that fully focuses on Google Ads. We don't do anything else. All we do is Google Ads. And today, I want to walk you guys through Quality Score in 2024. What does that look like? What does that process look like? How do you improve it? Does it even matter if you improve it? And I want to walk you guys through kind of from a Google Ads manager perspective, what I've noticed um, and what you should really do regarding quality score. Because to be honest, there's not as much emphasis on it anymore nowadays in 2024 than there used to be. There used to be a lot of emphasis on quality score and how it modifies, you know, how you're showing up in the search results uh, on the ads and, you know, higher quality score, you can show up higher versus uh, somebody who has a lower quality score and you can bid less than them and they're bidding higher. And it's just like, what do you guys, what does this look like? What does quality score in 2024 look like? And I want to dive into a real life account on quality score. So let's jump into it. This is a truck insurance account. We've been running this ad, these ads for forever. And I want to walk you guys through quality score. So Quality score is out of 10, right? 10 out of 10 is perfect score. Two out of 10 is the absolute, I don't even know if you can get two out of 10. It's three out of 10. Um, three out of 10 is the absolute worst score. You can see here, we've got a three out of 10 here. Um, and I know why this is three out of 10 as well. And so there's three components that make up quality score. There's the expected click-through rate, there's the landing page experience, and there's the ad relevance. Uh, out of the three, the easiest to get right is the ad relevance. By far, the ad relevance is the easiest to get uh, an above average score. Next, I would say the landing page experience is the easiest to get an above average score. And then the expected click-through rate is needs to be talked about more because expected click-through rate seems to almost be uh, luck in some sort of way. You guys can have perfect ads. You guys can have an offer in your ads and your click-through rate could be uh, tremendous and still for some reason it's average or below average so those are the three things that make it up if you guys are in your Google Ads account and want to see this what we'll look at is expected click-through rate we will look at landing page experience and we will look at ad relevance and so what we want to do here is let's just get these out of the way um, that way we can focus our we can focus our eyes Ooh. I got rid of quality score, didn't I? We can get focus our eyes on the four. So we've got quality score here, expected click through rate. And you can see here that this one, some, some keywords, even though they get a lot of clicks, do not have a quality score. And um, that's very, very common. If yours doesn't have a quality score, that's totally okay, guys. Don't worry about it. Look at the ones that do have a quality score because you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to change it and update it and modify it. So if we're looking here, commercial truck insurance, our main keyword, it gets 40 clicks. It's gotten 40 clicks this month, and we've got our ad relevance as above average, our landing page experience as above average. Let's jump into the ad relevance first. So what makes ad relevance above average? And it's very, very simple, guys. It's what is being said in the ad. So commercial truck insurance, if we go to this ad group here, and we go to the ads, we can see here that in our ads, we have our... Uh, keyword here. So we've got trucking insurance and we've got truck insurance in multiple spots. Semi truck insurance, cheap semi truck insurance, commercial truck insurance, semi truck insurance, commercial. We've got commercial and we've got truck insurance everywhere. And so that's why the ad relevance is very high on this uh, on this keyword specifically. So the way you guys want to improve it is your your keywords and what you're using. Now don't go in there, it's 2024, don't go in there and keyword stuff your ads. Basically what that means is don't do commercial truck insurance, commercial vehicle insurance, semi-truck insurance, this and this and this and truck insurance and commercial. And what ends up happening with that is sometimes it'll, it'll still be above average sometimes or average, but it doesn't read good. So the way you guys want it to read is uh, very natural and flowy, like how you would want to read something. And the way you can test this actually is Google's got a natural language API and if we go over to their website, let's click on this. And if we go over to their website, what we can look at is it's cloud.google.com slash natural dash language. What we can go is we can go here, we can climb down here to try the API. We can type this in, we'd select analyze. And then what this will do is this will analyze our score. And what we wanna look for is sentient, sent, sentiment, I'm sorry, score. Um, and if it's in the green, 
you're in good shape. If it's not in the green, it's not reading naturally. So we can know we can notice. Um, let's find a ad that is, or let's find a keyword that has plenty of clicks in a low ad relevance. Commercial insurance for truckers. Uh, I believe that's the same. Let's see here. Okay, we do not have. We could try and grab this one, but this one. These are all, oh, let's try this. Let's see if we can go here and, all right, let's see what we can do here, guys, is do this and find a keyword that's gotten plenty. All right, so CDL insurance here, if we go here and we look at the ad, um, well, this makes sense why the ad relevance is low because we don't have, we need CDL insurance here and we need CDL insurance more. So it's not necessarily the description here, um, but we do need to add, the ad relevance is low because um, we don't have the keyword there. But what you guys want to, what you guys do want to look at is the sentient score on your ads. If you're saying, hey, I've got the keywords, I've got CDL truck insurance, or I've got, you know, if you're a plumber, plumber in Sacramento and that's your keyword. Uh, I've got that in my description. I've got that in my headline. Uh, you're going to want to go back and use Google's cloud uh, natural language API and just type this in and make sure this is green. If it's not, update it, change it around, make sure that's green. But this is a big resource that we use at Max Conversion to test our ad relevancy and uh, you know improve that ad relevance because it should be above average in most cases. Now, um, that's really the main thing in terms of in terms of ad relevance is keywords and the sent sentiment score. Uh, if you get that dialed in, your ad relevance should go up. If it doesn't go up right away, which it won't, you wanna give it some time, let the ad run, let Google let Google crawl, crawl the ads again, just, just give it some time, but it should go up. Um, if you're running it for a week and it doesn't go up again, you're gonna to wanna to look more into it and see what you need to do. Um, but ad relevance should be easy to get uh, to above average. Landing page experience is very, very similar to um, ad relevance in a way where it's, uh, it is keyword focused. So what we've noticed with landing page experience, there's a few things that we do to improve the landing page experience. One is we include the keywords on the page, right? So um, if you are a plumber, you've got different types of repairs, right? You've got toilet repairs, you've got water heater, you've, got, um, you've just got regular faucet. So what you want to do in landing page, you don't want to be running it to the main homepage of your website. You want to be running it to a specific page, and this is good for a conversion rate as well. So with landing pages, it's all about you know the keywords, making sure that your website's quick, it's user optimized, it's mobile friendly, all those basic um, those basics to a strong website. So you're going to want to make sure that your website has that. And um, there's a way to check it if you want to go to Google Page Speed Insights and Type in your URL here. Um, we'll just type in the max conversion URL. Um, we don't really run ads uh, to our to our website through Google Ads um, anymore. But you know, you guys want your your website to load quick. You want it to be mobile optimized, and this will give you some data on it um, on it. And we'll let this load, but we'll go back to it. I don't think the page speed insights is very good on max conversion, but we can look into it. But that's really what you want. You want the keywords, right? Uh, plumber near me, plumber Sacramento, if that's your keyword, plumber Sacramento should be on your headline one. Toilet repair, if that's your targeted keyword, you know, you want that on your headline one. Um, whatever type of company you are, truck, in, truck insurance, you want to have commercial truck insurance, and you can add words around it, right, like affordable commercial truck insurance, or if you're a plumber, $20 off toilet, toilet repair when you call by the end of August or something. Um, you can have those, you know, integrated, but you do want to have those keywords. So, making sure that your website's fast, it's user optimized, it's mobile and desktop optimized, and the keywords are relevant on the page. Now for the near me terms, right, like plumber near me or uh, mortgage broker near me, those are very hard to have. You can't really have those on your landing page, but make sure it's relevant to the location. Uh, if you're in Sacramento, like I keep using, uh, make sure it's Sacramento page. Uh, and that will improve the landing page experience naturally just by having those keywords on there. So um, we are running it to a general campaign here. So it makes sense why we've got some below average with big rig insurance and, um, you know, intermodal. We don't have specific landing pages for that. 
Um, these aren't really that big of keywords in this campaign, but if those are big keywords that you have that are below average, you guys should be running it to a specific landing page that does improve that, that right there. Because quality score, at the end of the day, it's not as big of a factor, um, but it still is a factor because you can bid less and show up higher and more frequently when your quality score is higher. At the end of the day, guys, Google wants to show relevant ads. They want to show relevant websites. They want to show good websites. They don't want to have bad advertisers on their platform. Uh, they weed out bad advertisers very, very quick. Google Ads is expensive. Um, so make sure that your website's optimized. Make sure it's user-friendly. Um, when Google shows bad ads to users, it reflects bad on Google, Google as well. And uh, Google has no problem taking your money, but uh, a lot of times advertisers won't stay long when ads are not performing. So uh, Google will uh, make that happen. So just have good, relevant websites and landing pages for your ads, and you should be good to go in that category. Now, jumping over to expected click-through rate. This is such a tricky one because expected click-through rate really ranges. And we will go here and select click-through rate. And what we're going to go ahead and do is let's just filter by, uh, you know, ones that have over 11 clicks. So what, how many are those? 12? So not many. Um, but you can see here 16% click-through rate is phenomenal, phenomenal. But we're still getting average here. Um, we're still... It's still average because it's it's it, there's there's not really a good reason why it's average, right? Google wants to see a higher click through rate, uh, and the way they base it is off of other advertisers what their click through rate is. However, there's so much that factors into click through rate, right? It's the position you show up, right? The the absolute top position you're gonna show up, you're gonna get way higher click through rate than if you showed up, uh, you know, fourth down or third down or even at the, all the way at the bottom of Google, you're going to get a lot worse click-through rate the lower you show up. So there's a lot that factors in here. You know, your bid factors in, your bid strategy factors in, um, and a lot of times, even with a high click-through rate, Google will still give you an average or below average score. Um, and that's okay, guys. So what you want to do here, it's all about the copy in your, your ads. Uh, having an offer, um, getting people to want to click on your ad, making sure that your ad is relevant to what they're searching for is going to be key in terms of improving click-through rate. That's going to be key. Um, testing out different ads and different responsive search ads, having two to three ads per ad group is very important as well uh, if you're looking to improve click-through rate. And so this is all very, very important. Uh, I will say what we've noticed at Max Conversion that works really well is having an offer in the ad and then pinning it to position one. Um, for example, if we have the, this ad right here, we've got, you know, we want to change this to garbage truck insurance, making sure that it's relevant. It's relevant here. But if you guys had an offer like, um, you know, whatever it may be, what you can do is you can select this pen and put show in only position one. And if you really like to go another step, you guys can go and pin these to position two and position three. That way this shows up in position one. That's completely possible as well. Um, but that's an option that you guys do have to improve the click-through rate. Another thing are the ad assets. You'll want to go into the assets and update. Make sure that you add all relevant assets that you can. Images, businesses, site links, callouts, structured snippet, call extension. Um, lead form doesn't really matter in 2024. It doesn't show up too frequently. If you have a promotion or price location, make sure you add those things as well. But at the end of the day, guys, sometimes click-through rate is extremely hard to improve. Uh, we've worked a lot with a lot of clients uh, to try and improve click-through rate. And while we can get the click-through rate up, uh, a lot of times the, the quality score does not increase, even if you increase it by a few percentages. So don't be alarmed there. Just try different offers, test different ads, pause the ads that have a lower click-through rate, and keep the ads enabled that have a higher click-through rate. Click-through rate is all about testing. It takes time, it takes impressions, it takes money, and it takes clicks. So give it time. Test out a lot of things. Don't pause an ad until you get about 20 clicks. You'll know, you know whether it's performing at about that rate. If you can wait even longer, that's better. Um, but 20 quick clicks is kind of the minimum. But test these things out, guys. Run offers on your headlines, on your ads. Um, but don't get discouraged when it comes to click-through rate. But having a 7 out of 10 to 8 out of 10 quality score is extremely good nowadays. Having a 10 out of 10 is phenomenal. Not many advertisers have it. Um, but if you guys do want to increase, increase uh, quality score, these are the ways to do it. It's uh, ad relevance first, landing page second, and then looking to improve click-through rate. So 
if you guys do have any questions regarding this video, uh, if there's anything I didn't cover that you guys have a question to, I respond to all comments down below in the comment section. Make sure that if you like this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe for more helpful Google Ads content. I appreciate you guys watching.